<laughs> Thanks very much, Adam, for that uh, very kind uh, introduction. And uh, great to have uh, the Federal Minister for um, Australian Government Minister for Communications, the Honourable Malcolm Turnbull, here tonight, up in beautiful Brisbane. And uh, of course, uh, along with the member for Longman, Mr Wyatt Roy, and of course, a, a wonderful welcome uh, to Brisbane City by uh, Councillor Julian Simmons, who's been a close associate of the Queensland Government as we've worked uh, to promote the open data uh, program for Queensland, and Brisbane City has been a big part of that. In fact, he's loaned me the uh, wonderful Cara Walsh uh, for quite a bit of time, and uh, she's actually just about to drop her own little gov hacker right now. Right? And, uh, <laughs> well, thank you, Cara, for your wonderful help uh, over that current time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, first, congratulations to everyone who participated in the GovHack uh, competition. The types of, uh, these types of events are extremely important for us to go forward with this fantastic program. As we all know, how we analyse, mash up and visualise data has the potential to change our lives. And you are defining the future in a very, very positive way. I've been amazed at what uh, you've all been able to do in uh, just that particular 46 hours, particularly the use of Queensland Government data category, and I'd like to make a special mention of our superstar in the Queensland Government, Steve Jacoby, who is here tonight in his Queensland Globe, and I recommend, uh, Minister uh, Turnbull, that you look at the Queensland Globe for a wonderful example of what we can do with our open data initiatives. Absolutely brilliant, and we'll look forward to seeing it on the G20 agenda as we go further along. Some of you are already thinking how to build on your work here at GovHack. I too am excited to see what you can do with more time, with more training and more mentoring. So, uh, it's very, I'm very happy to announce here tonight that the Premier's Award, Campbell Newman, is a great supporter <coughs> for the Open Data Initiative and actually uh, I'm his pet project. I'm work in progress but I'm his pet project in the government and he's very committed to the most open, accountable and transparent government that can be possibly delivered to the people of Queensland. So I'm very proud to announce that the Premier's Award for Open Data will be again running in 2014 and uh, we, they'll uh, be officially open. We started these awards last year because we believe that open data is one of the new great resources of the 21st century. The Premier is passionate about a more and open and a, uh, transparent government, and we are committed to be at the forefront of this worldwide movement. What we are looking for are web and app developers, graphic designers and digital entrepreneurs who can use Queensland government data uh, to develop the most innovative and real-life solutions. Entries are open for six weeks starting today and close on Friday the 26th of September. We'll be announcing the winners at an awards ceremony in December as we had a very successful one last year. Three main categories, best use of open data, best commercial app and best community app and there'll be prizes awarded for the best school entry and this year we're doing a first and I've had to fight to get this up. We're actually going to give a public <coughs> servant an award which is very, very difficult to do in government, I can assure you, but we recognise their wonderful work. <laughs> so, um, our partner, Microsoft, is also sponsoring a Startup Q Award. Uh, they've been wonderful supporters for us, Microsoft, uh, with a potential value of more than $60,000 in equipment, software and access to Microsoft developers for 12 months. As you can see, the Premier's Awards are not just for this year, but also about what comes next. Currently, uh, in Queensland, we have over 1,300 data sets on the site. I am told by Microsoft we're leading the way in Australia, and I'm also told by uh, Minister Turnbull on the way up that uh, he's looking forward to the federal government following the Queensland lead in this area. So uh, we'll see more and more data mashing up between the federal government and Queensland. Um, and so, uh, so uh, if you are driven to help the community, then you know, there are demographic education services, flood locations. All of these data sets exist that can be built on in your way. We have the data. You have now the ability to innovate with this data. Uh, through the Premier's Awards, we'll also be helping you get uh, the most from our data and your creativity. There will be training. Microsoft will be running masterclasses on app design and development and how to take your ideas forward. There will be industry mentors. The Australian Information Industry Association will be available uh, for you to bounce ideas off. 
and to get you into the minds of those who create the data sets, the Queensland Department of Communities, Child Safety and Disability Services is holding an open data event on Friday, the 5th of September. Here's a chance to talk to like-minded, creative individuals and community-faced government professionals. Keep an eye on the Queensland Government Open Data Portal for more information. Once again, congratulations to all of the participants, participants in the GovHack competition and best of luck for the upcoming Premier's Award. To all those who have entered in the GovHack uh, uh, competition, I congratulate all the winners-to-be, but if you have entered, then you are a winner in my view. Congratulations. Enjoy the evening.